All right, so we've seen how to decode a JWT signature, and now we'll see how to manually encode a JWT. We'll be using the we'll be using the Epic and Unix timestamp conversion tool. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and grab a sample uh, meeting SDK JWT, and this will just allow us just to get those uh, JWT uh, keys and claims, and we can just start manually populating it. So we'll go over to the marketplace. We'll grab our client ID. Uh, we'll go ahead and add, grab the meeting number. Then we'll go ahead and use the Epic conversion tool to get the current timestamp. Uh, again, I'm getting these requirements from here. So we know this is the, the token timestamp. So we'll add that value there. And the next thing we know that the next requirement is a maximum of 100 straight of 118 seconds greater and uh, 48 hours greater than the I value. So what we can do over here is we can just move this up. Well, actually, let me re-input these values. And I'll do the current timestamp that. And then I'll do human readable. And I'll move this up to the 14th. I'll grab this timestamp. And I'll add that to the expiration. And I'll add it down here to the expiration. Now, we don't really have to worry about the app key because we're doing web and that pertains to native. And then the last thing you want to do is we want to come over here, get our chronic secret, and add that here. So with this value, we can come over to our get signature function and we can do the start meeting. And let's first start with a uh, no value to test that uh, we aren't able to join. Um, then you see invalid signature. So now we can go back and we can actually add our signature and test to see if we can join. And as you can see, we can successfully join.